Goedemorgen graad 11 en welkom bij vandaagse Afrikaanse online klas. We gaan nu kijken november 2019. We are busy with revision of the Cripple Engel. We are looking at post papers and like I've said before, we are testing our knowledge of the content of the book. But more importantly, we are looking at the types of questions that they ask and we are trying to see a pattern so that we can be smarter in answering all question papers. Goed, november 2019. Tekst A. Dit was een ongeluk toe ek klein was, sê sy, maar brei nie uit nie. Die dokter was nie baie sympathiek met haar nie. Jy is gelukkig, dis nie tussen die duim en die wijsvinger nie. So we always read the text to get a bit of a context of what they are referring to. So that first par paragraph is when the lady in the kitchen the kitchen lady at um, the course size asked Tina what happened to her hand. She saw a scar on Tina's hand. That second paragraph, die bekleier hy het oor een pop begin. Mevrouw Kutsi het hy skoon gemaakt en vir die pop gegeen. Dit was my dochtersin. So it's referring to the day that um, um, Tina and Jacob fought and he um, stabbed her with the knife. It was because of a doll. And if you remember, Tina took one of her little sister's um, diapers and played. And then Jacob said he's going to tell the older people. Next paragraph. Sy was so groot as a rechte baba met a rechte baby vrou. Tina had een van my Griekiese boeke gespeel om vir die pop aan te sit. Toe was dit een gesikkel, want die baby grau wou nie weer toe nie. Jacob het op haar afgekom, waar sy skelm in die skier die pop aangetrek het. So, again, we know this whole um, text that they are um, quoting is to refer to that day where um, Tina and Jacob fought. Goed. So, if we look at 1.1, dit was een ongeluk toe ek klein was, sê sy, 1.1.1, wat was die ongeluk waar na hier verwijs word? So what is the accident that are that they are referring to here? Okay, so um, in the context of the text that they have given. 1.1.2 Waarom is dit waar dat die bijtmerk aan Jacobse boe arm meer ernstig was? Geer twee feite. Why is it true that the, the bit, or the bite mark, the way Tina bit Jacob, um, is, was more serious than what happened to Tina. 1.2 Waarom was die pop vir, vir Tina so waardevol? Why was the doll so precious to Tina? 1.3 Tina en Jacob was ook by een meer tragische incident betrokke. Tina en Jacob were also in a more tragic incident involved. Okay? 1.3.1 Waarom het Tina verantwoordelijk gevoel vir wat daar die dag met Jacob gebeur het? Gee drie feite. It's interesting in grade 11, I think in all the other question papers that we did, 2017 and 2018, there was a three more question where they referred to what happened, a tragic event that happened with Jacob and Tina. So ja, yeah, waarom, why? Was Tina, why did she feel responsible for what happened that day with Jacob? For three marks. Remember three short sentences. 1.3.2 Waarom voel jij dat Ant Meulen eindelijk direct blameer moest word vir die incident? Why do you feel that Ant Meulen, Jacob's mother, should directly be blamed for what happened that day? 1.3.3 Wat er waarheid oor Jacobse dood is eers aan die einde aan Tina vertel. Which truth about Jacob's death was only told to Tina at the end of the story? Goed. 1.4 Waarom sou jy sê het hier die waarheid Tina aan die einde vry laat voel? Gee twee bewys er. Why would you say that this truth about Jacob um, make Tina feel free at the end. Give two facts. 1.5 Waarom het die skryver hier die waarheid tot aan die einde van die roman vir die leeser uitgestel? Why did the writer, why do you think that the writer 
um, hide all this truth or not reveal this truth up until the end of the story to us as the readers. What was the, the, the reason for this? Ian Pint says, Hoe het Jacob die krippel engel een positieve rol in Tina's leven gespeeld? Geer twee feiten. So how did Jacob, the angel, play a positive role in Tina's life? Give two facts. 1.7 Die bruin mense van Martha se fris het nie juist ambitie in die leven gehad nie. Voltooi die volgende paragraaf en gebruik die woorde in die woordebank om dit te voltooi. So the statement is that the colored people in Martha se fris did not have lots of ambition in life. Use the words in the wordbank to complete the paragraph. The words are paat, sigarette, which is cigarettes, alcohol, alcohol, Afrikaans, Engels, and Stefans. Wie was baie ons vertel, toe hy hoor dat Tina na die dorpskool wil gaan? Who was very upset when he heard that Tina wants to go to the dorpskool? Hulle swaar kry was verder vererger, dier dat hulle hul swaar verdiende geld op wat gemors het. So their... Um, Swar cry is that they their suffering was even worsened um, because their money that they earned they had to use on something. So the the people's um, suffering was even worsened because the money that they earned they used on something. They wasted on something. Hulle kinders was ook verder benadeel, dier dat hulle ook nie in hulle moedertaal onderrug is nie. So their children were even negatively impacted because they did not um, receive education in their mother tongue. What is their mother tongue? Tongue, ok. Goed. Lees die volgende uitreksel dier Dear, and we answer the question what So the next text, I'm just going to read the first part to give us a context. Na die laaste periode stap die na saam met jyfrou Dale Kosshuis toe. Jyfrou, welkom drink meneer Marie Stefans. Die na knik, jy weet uit opgedrou drink nie. So this was after the day, I think they discussed um, advertisements and you know the role of alcohol and things like that. And then Tina asked Jeffrey Dale about alcohol and Tina, Jeffrey Dale said that Stefan stopped drinking because of her. Yeah, and um, yeah, so let's see. Question 1.8. What are Tiamma and Nirdi Roman pass by the book and in the Eitrexel? So guys, I've shared some themes with you with regards to the book and you can go and look at the slide that I posted on the WhatsApp group. So again, it's important to remember that there's obviously underlying themes. So you have to really reread the, the text and under, kind of ask yourself what theme are they touching on if you read that text, this extract specifically. What are the theme? Which theme in this novel fits with the text above? 1.9. Who can drink Meneer Mare? So why does Mr. Mare drink? 1.9.1. Waarom het Stefans so gereeld gedrink? Why did Stefans used to drink a lot? 1.9.2. Wat is die functie van die ellipse in boogenoemde reel? What is the function of the ellipse, the ellipses in the above line at 1.9? 1.9.3. Waarom het Stefans opgehou drink? Why did Stefans stop drinking? 1.10. Sympathiseer jy met Stefans dat hy alcohol gebruik het om sy probleme te hanteer? Gee een rede vir jou antwoord. This type of question, you give your personal response. Do you sympathize with Stefans that he drank a lot of alcohol to try and forget about his problems or try to deal with his problems? Give a reason for your answer. 1.11 Wat er omstandigheid het gesorg dat Stefans en Tina meer in mekaar sy geselskap was? So what circumstance um, resulted or added to the fact that Stefans and Tina spent more time in its, each other's presence. 1.12 And I feel the responsibility. He feels the respons responsibility. 1.12.1 Now what the responsibility is here for So guys, you have to go and read the text, line 13 and 14, and answer according to the text.
1.12.2, hoe het Stefan toch zijn verantwoordelijkheid in er Tina in die verlede nagekom? Geen twee feiten. How did Stefan um, take up his responsibility towards Tina in the past? Give two facts. 1.12.3. Hoe het Stefans verder aan allemaal gewijs dat, behalve vir die geld wat hy gegeet, hy Tina as sy dochter aanvaar het? We've, we've had a similar question like this. So, how did Stefans show or prove to everyone that Tina, he, he accepts Tina as his daughter? Um, this is over and above the fact that he gives, provides money or gives money for her, for her needs. 1.12.14 Hoe het Stefans met die trouwleerlings bewys dat hy selfs Tina se familie aanvaar het? How did Stefan show with the organizing his wedding that he even accepts Tina's family? Goed. 1.13.1 Wat er skoolproject het bijgedra dat Tina en je vrou Duil mekaar beter leer ken het? So what school project contributed to the fact that Tina and Miss Duil got to know each other better? 1.13.2 Waarmee het je vrou Duil vir Tina gehelp, so dat sy kon voortgaan om fondse in te samel? So, with what did je vrou Duil help Tina, so that she could continue with her money fundraiser? 1.14 Wat doen Stefans om Tina met haar fondse in samling te help? What does Stefans do to help Tina with her fondse in samling or money making? 1.15, kies die karakter uit kolom B wat pas by kolom A, so you choose the character in B to fit A, ok, and we've actually had similar questions, so let's see. 1.15.1, hier die karakter het pa at met een mes gejaag, oeh, this is right at the beginning, which character chased pa at with a knife? <laughs> So darlings, here you just cancel out, okay, because I'm not going to give any answers, but if you look at those five names, I can guess which one, because I know it's not the rest. Goed, 1.15.2, hier die karakter was lui vir schoolwerk. This character was lazy to do schoolwork. 1.15.3, hier die karakter was verslaaf aan alcohol. So this character was addicted to alcohol. 1.15.4 Hier die karakter het Tina se gedagtes oorheers. This character um, ja, overtook Tina's thoughts. I think you can cancel out easily and should with certainty know which names in column B fits column A. Goed graad 12, dit is dan nou um, November 2019 versie mens vraag.